In this tutorial, we will present screen layout and we will start with the home screen. Layout of the screen will change depending on how you program and operate the pump unit. But when you switch on the pump for the first time, the home screen will be showing like this. This screen layout is available when the pump is operated using manual job file only. It's a read-only display for the current activated job file and will be displayed on every screen. The user can change the name of the job file, but we will talk about how to edit the job files in a different tutorial. Also, on the home screen, you can see the tube size as defined in the currently activated job file. On the opposite side is the current time and date, which is a read-only display, and we will show you how to set them up in our settings tutorial. The next frame displays the flow rate and the units of the flow rate. The user can change them and we will present this in our tutorial how to edit the job file. Then, this icon allows the user to lock and unlock the touchscreen and the main menu icon to access the main menu. Increment decrement arrow will increase or decrease the flow rate only in the manual job file. It can either be pressed once, which will increment or decrement the flow rate in steps, or held down, which will gradually increase or decrease the flow rate. It is a temporary change on the home screen and does not change the flow rate in the job file menu. The flow rate indicator displays the current flow rate as a percentage of the maximum available flow rate for the selected tube size. Pump status symbol displays the direction of rotation and RPM if the pump is running. In manual job file only, the direction of rotation can be changed by touching the symbol on the home screen.